Welcome to the demonstration of NetSuite's Fixed Assets Management. I've navigated to my Fixed Assets tab to see my global fixed asset listing. Fixed assets can be created from journal entries, purchase orders, vendor bills, or inventory transfers. They can also be bulk imported into NetSuite, whether they're new or existing assets. On my dashboard in the center, I can see all of my fixed assets. Like all reporting in NetSuite, I can filter data for my needs such as subsidiary, asset view, location, or even create my own view. Action items can also be present from a view. On the left side of the screen, I can split or combine assets, get financial reporting, dispose, depreciate, or even see multiple methods of depreciation. On the right, Trend analysis can help me understand my assets in place at any given period of time. Asset automation starts at the creation of assets types. Let's go ahead and take a look at computer equipment. In the Accounts sub tab, I can set up default GL mapping for creation, disposal, and depreciation, as well as write off accounts. For disposals, NetSuite will automatically take the netbook value and create appropriate journal entries. In the Maintenance sub-tab, I can set up inspection periods for reporting. Diving into other methods, I can track separate books for depreciation methods aside from those already set for financial reporting and accounting. I can also drill into lifetime of assets I want to track for replacement or other factors. Let's take a look at a specific computer equipment asset. An Asus Mark IV laptop has already been depreciating. We can see what we defined as the asset type, which populates here. The asset record tracks detailed information for total lifecycle management, including serial number, custodian, physical location, even if that's on a customer site, up-to-date depreciation, as well as the source of the fixed asset, which NetSuite allows me to drill into even further. NetSuite also allows me to track non-depreciating assets, such as things below a capitalization policy, as well as for property tax filings. I can see how assets are tied to insurance contracts, as well as maintenance schedules. Finally, I can see monthly depreciation history. And because NetSuite is automatically creating these journal entries, I can drill into those as well. I also have access to key reporting. A fixed asset roll forward can be used for financial reporting purposes or disclosures. I have the ability to see a fixed asset register, also globally. And the depreciation schedule shows me future depreciation again on all global fixed assets. As part of asset setup, I can create different depreciation methods beyond just straight line. This includes double declining, 25% reducing balance, asset usage, or other methods for tax and statutory purposes. I can also run the previous reports I showed using these different methods. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.